Hello everyone, I just want to do a quick uh, little uh, YouTube video. I'll also put it on Facebook. If you like this, make sure you click like and share the info will be down there. Make sure you uh, follow if you're interested. I'll be doing a lot more of these really shorter, faster uh, in uh, YouTube and even some on Facebook about the two main things I do, NLP training and addictions. Today, it's about addictions because I had someone ask me a question. They contacted me because they had a question they didn't understand. Um, one of someone they know they're they're in recovery from an addiction, and their AA anniversary is coming up. They call it your AA birthday, and you and in uh, twelve step programs, Alcoholics Anonymous, Narcotics Anonymous, and I'm not sure the others do, but they give a little token when you get your anniversary. Anyway, the person had a legitimate question, and I've been around this for forty years. And of course, I have my own views, but they were saying, why do the people place such a emphasis on this day, like whatever their sobriety date is? Um, and they honestly didn't understand it. They they looked at it like I've seen a lot of hypnotists and NLPers do and uh, not understand the paradox of it with thinking that, well, by doing focusing on that, they're focusing on the negativity of the addiction, if you will. Uh, soon I'll do one on even calling yourself an addict or an alcoholic. But I said, well, you have to understand those days uh, are much like someone's anniversary for anything. If it was a life-changing event and you liked it, you should remember it forever. People remember their wedding anniversary, the anniversaries of their children being born, things like maybe college. People remember a lot of the very powerful things that impacted them. And if they're in recovery and they're coming out of an addiction, a lot of the people, myself included, and in, in that will place everything else on the pillar of being sober or clean. Uh, I know in my case, I'll self-disclose. Yeah, I, I know my wedding anniversary, you know, my daughter's birthday, uh, some other, you know, the date I got my, my passed my psychology exam to become a psychologist. All of these dates are important, but all of them basically build on the pillar of me being sober. If I was drink, if I if I had not sobered up, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be married. I wouldn't have graduated um, with my master's or my doctorate. I already had my bachelor's. But I mean, it would be like none of that would have happened. I wouldn't have got my license. Uh, all this, my daughter probably wouldn't be in my life. All of these other things. So it builds on that, and it reminds me of what life was before it happened, which we have a tendency to forget. Uh, and, and it's a ritual, it's a celebration. People uh, inside those programs that give the uh, anniversary tokens, in some places you get a cake, used to be a bigger thing before COVID and I think it will come back just the other night at one, uh, a gentleman had his 37th year, he got his token, we had special snacks. It was a, it was a uh, big get together for those of us uh, that that's important to. And again, if you look at it that way, it changes the perception of it. And again, those of us in hypnosis and NLP, don't overlay your values and beliefs on what other people are, what's important to them. You know, Because naturally, as you think about it, it's what's important to them. And if it's important to them, it's a big deal. Uh, and so, yeah, and if you can understand it, it can make more sense. You know, It's not that they're celebrating the addiction, they're celebrating the recovery from addiction and remembering what life was like before that. So I just wanted to put that out there. And, you know, I'm, I'm one, I, I celebrate my uh, anniversaries. It's St. Patrick's Day, uh, which is a great day for an Irishman to quit drinking. Uh, so I just wanted to put that out there. If you have any questions, uh, shoot, me a, a question, uh, shoot me a question down, I'll, I'll follow the comments, leave a comment, leave a question, direct message me, find me. I love answering questions about my two, uh, two favorite things. NLP and addiction. Um, those, those are things that really changed my life. So if you're, if you have any questions, again, if you like this, click like uh, and leave a comment and make sure you click the subscribe button. I want to be doing two or three of these a week, uh, uh, either on addictions or NLP, and we'll have some fun with this. I look forward to seeing you as we trudge the road. My dog just banged the table. Trudge the road to happy destiny.